part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 17 before going ahead with part 18. Now that we have thoroughly studied work and energy, now we will study about power. So what is power? Power is nothing but the rate of doing work. Rate of doing work or reducing energy. So that is work done per unit time. Let us take the example of, an, of power. Suppose you are doing 10 joules of work in 10 seconds. So what will be the power? What will be your power? Power will be equal to work done per unit time. So 10 joules of work in 10 seconds. So this will be equal to 1 watt or 1 joule per second. Similarly, we can say using 10 joules of energy in 10 seconds. So even in this case, the power would be 10 joules by 10 seconds. So this will be 1 joule per second. It is a scalar quantity. It has only magnitude, no direction. Generally denoted by capital P. SI unit is Watt. Now let us go ahead and see something more about power. There are some other units which are also used. That is, these are all bigger units. 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watts. There is another unit which is generally a commercial unit. That is horsepower. 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watts. Remember these conversions because they will help you while solving problems. So 1 horsepower which is generally denoted as HP is equal to 746 watts. Now let us look at average and instantaneous power. What is average power and what is instantaneous power? Let us look at average power first. It is the rate of doing work over a period of time. Right, that means work done per unit time. We have a specified period of time. So the rate of doing work over that period of time is average power. That is, it is denoted by P average. The subscript denotes average. It is equal to total work done by time taken. Then what is instantaneous power? As the name suggests, instantaneous. That means the value of power at a particular instant of time. So this is the rate of doing work at a particular instant of time. Correct. So average power means rate of doing work over a period of time. Say so if I say from T1 to T2, what is the average power? Right. So average power is always calculated between two specific instants of time. And instantaneous power is the rate of doing work at a particular instant of time. It is generally denoted as dW by dt. Why dW by dt? Because we consider that it is a particular instant of time means it is a very small time period. So infinite decimally small time period dt. So very small amount of work would be done in dt that is dW. So how do we get power? Power is given by the slope of work time graph. If we plot WT graph that is if we take work done along y axis and time along x-axis, then the graph which we get, slope of this graph gives the value of power. Now, if I now very carefully observe this. So, slope of a straight line would be tan theta, right? So, if I say, looking at this graph, how will you calculate the average power? Now, suppose if I ask you, what is the average power between time t is equal to 1 second to time t is equal to 3 seconds. So what would be the average power between this? It will be the slope of this line. That means tan theta. So I will join these two. So this will become this divided by this. Let us suppose this is A, this is B. Okay, so P average. So this will become Say this is C. So P average will become tan theta is equal to AC by BC. Okay, between this is the average power between T is equal to 1 second to T is equal to 3 seconds. So between these two time interval, this is the average power. Similarly, if I ask you what is the instantaneous power at t is equal to 2 seconds. 
so at t is equal to 2 second this is t is equal to 2 second this point so the value of slope at this point would be the instantaneous power so value of slope would be this one let us say this is theta 1 so the instantaneous power at t is equal to 2 seconds will be tan theta 1 similarly the instantaneous power at t is equal to 4 seconds what would be that t is equal to 4 second is somewhere at this point so this angle let us suppose this is theta 2 so the instantaneous power at t is equal to 4 seconds would be tan of theta 2 right so when i talk of instantaneous power i mean the value of power at a particular instant when i say average power i mean the value of power between two time instants that is it is over an extended period of time i hope it is clear to you this concept is very similar to what we studied in average velocity and instantaneous velocity average speed and instantaneous speed so now let us go ahead and look at certain problems related to power well before that let us discuss relationship between instantaneous power and velocity how is instantaneous power related to velocity by definition of power we know that instantaneous power is equal to dw by dt right so what is this dw it is basically t tends to zero that means t is very very small In because instantaneous power means at each instant you will have a value of power so here we assume that t is extremely small so we know that power is equal to dw instantaneous power is dw by dt so we can say and we also know that work then dw would be equal to f dr because work done is equal to force dot displacement so we can say dw is equal to f dr therefore we can write p is equal to f dr by dt now dr by dt that is rate of change of position with time so this we can write as velocity so what do we get we get instantaneous power is equal to the product of force and instantaneous velocity so this is instantaneous velocity and this is instantaneous power so instantaneous power is equal to force into instantaneous velocity thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.